Okay, so this is a quick follow-up on our new CD Shellac collection. And I have to say, I actually am a little bit impressed on how they lasted. Because sometimes these brighter colors, they tend to fade very quickly, but they actually didn't. This one still looks the same color. So this is filmed outside, so I'm sorry about the noise. And the other hand? The shine is really impressive. Okay, so the shine is very impressive, and that's the, the Express 5 top coat, which I mentioned that it stays very shiny. It's really good. So we're going to remove it today. It's been almost two weeks. Your nails has, they have grown quite a bit. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove your shellac at home because it's actually quite easy, as long as it's CND shellac. So CND is a brand that makes a product called shellac. So this is CND shellac, which we have applied about 10 days ago. And hmm, I believe it's a good idea to remove it sooner than later. Um, and I know a lot of times people are waiting until something starts to chip, but then the nails get damaged. I don't recommend doing that. Anyway, so what we're going to do, we're going to remove it. We're going to soak it off and I'm going to show you how. So first of all, you need pure acetone. So you don't want to be using a nail polish remover because very often it does not contain enough acetone or the acetone has evaporated or God knows what else. It has glycerin, water, you don't need those ingredients. Pure acetone is the best. You are going to need one of these. You don't need the whole pack. So you're gonna need one of these. I find these are the easiest to work with. Very optional is a buffer block. Um, and the reason why is because when the surface is a little bit more rough, the product is going to come off uh, easier, quicker. So this is what I'm going to do. But I mean, CND shellac prides itself on being able to remove it without filing the nails. So I'm kind of not really following the, the recommendations, but this is all I do. We are also going to use these little pads. So this is what I do, makeup remover pads, tear it, some of them tear off better than others, into a couple, few pieces, couple layers, I guess. Then I tear it, I used to cut it, I'm more messy now. So this is what I'm going to do. And also an important thing, I do recommend if you're doing this at home, just have a plate or something that you put on a table because you don't want to be um, putting any of these uh, little pads that are soaked in acetone on a table. Now you're gonna need uh, just a regular foil. And if you're doing this at home, I highly recommend that you do this one hand at a time. Because obviously it's going to be very difficult for you to wrap, you know, both hands. You wanna make sure that this is nice and tight. You also want to maybe stand the bottle on, on the plate because this, when you press on it, sometimes it kind of pours out a little bit, so you don't want to damage your table. Now make sure that this little piece is soaked. Oftentimes people don't use enough acetone or the acetone evaporates. And then it's not soaking anything. Also, once these are tight, you can actually apply a little bit of heat um, if it's cold in your, in your house and make sure that your fingers are staying still because you don't want these to loosen up, okay? So applying heat could be... Uh, the heat actually helps to speed up the removal process. So it's a good idea, especially when your fingers are cold or it's cold in the room. But what type of heat would you apply? A heating pad. Yeah, heating pad. Or, you know, one of those little beanie things that you put in the microwave for a couple minutes for your neck. So then I would recommend just folding this and just putting some heat on top. Now, once the nails are um, wrapped, you will start counting. So this removes in five minutes. So we're going to wait five minutes. In the meantime, because I'm doing this, I'm going to wrap the other hand as well. making sure it's tight. Sometimes if you're doing this yourself, you might wanna actually use clips. I don't have the clips today. Some foils are better than others. This one is very flimsy. The ones that we had in Canada were a little bit 
um, robust. Yeah, robust, thicker. So it held its shape. This one is not really as very, very fine. So just make sure you don't move your hands too much. All right, so it's been five minutes. So we're gonna take a peek. So put some pressure, pull it off. I can see that the product is quite loose and it comes off without uh, much force, right? Like it's kind of like a wet paper. But the soak time is going to depend on which top coat was used. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab a pad and scrub it really well. This is going to, if there is any base coat left, it's going to wet it. And it's going to be much easier for me to now remove it. But there is nothing left. Clean removal. One drop of oil. On to the next. So what you want to do is you want to remove one at a time. Because if you just remove all of them, the product is going to almost like re-harden on the needle. It's going to be more difficult to to remove it. Now, if you had a um, different top coat, so for example, the regular original top coat is going to take about eight minutes to soak. The, the wipe free, they say the same as the original, but I find it takes longer up to 10, 15 minutes. And DuraForce is going to also take about 15 minutes. So if you have seen the so-called butterfly removal, um, it only really, in my experience, and I've been working with shellac since it first came out, um, it only happens when you remove the shellac right after you have applied it. Otherwise, it just doesn't really come off that easily. I mean, it comes off very easy, but not like it doesn't come off in like one chunk. So what I'm going to do now, very quickly, just to show you, because you know I always want to show something extra. <laughs> just going to nudge the skin fold back. So this should be done every few days if you have a tendency for that skin to stick to the nail. See, I'm just nudging it gently. I'm not like shoving this tool underneath the skin at all. And we're done. Thank you so much for watching.